Several agencies are working together to make sure that Greenville County's first responders can get tested for the novel coronavirus. And 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell has more on the setup for the drive through testing for those on the front line. Ann? Diane, this drive through testing is the result of a collaboration between several groups, including the Department of Health and Environmental Control, the Greenville County Emergency Response Team, and the Upstate Healthcare Coalition, which is an 11 county healthcare region. The goal is to protect those first responders so they can keep working to protect all of us. Healthcare workers in protective suits have replaced those gathering for business at the Greenville Convention Center. They're tasked with testing first responders who show symptoms that may signify COVID-19. Our goal is to get our first responders turned around as quickly as possible so they can be back in the community helping our, helping our constituents. The drive through is just for those first responders, like healthcare workers, firefighters, police, and EMS. They go through the same testing uh, criteria. Uh, and go through the same test. It's just an expedited method, again, to get our first responders back on the street. Those who are still deemed at risk after an initial screen can get tested in the drive through Check out this demonstration. A healthcare worker pushes a swab pretty far up a possible patient's nose before pulling out the sample to be shipped to a lab. There are no special circumstances here. This drive through test site opened Monday morning. It's currently set to be open five days a week. Just as a method to get them through the, through the process a little quicker so they can get back out and serve our citizens and respond to those medical calls or those police calls to assist them and make sure that, that their services are being covered. That emergency management director said the plan to stay open five days a week could change depending on the amount of cases that they see. From 7 on Main, Ann Maxwell, 7 News. Thank you. And in other counties in that upstate health care coalition are working to set up similar sites. Spartanburg.